everybody, good buddy Kira here with Undertale. Woo! Last we left off. Aw, oh, she's happy and asleep, and everybody is so cute. Okay. Last time we went on a date, which was great and fun. But now we must be on our way. Right. Yeah. Shh, phone. Yeah, on our way. Yeah. Those termination. Yeah. Hey, Sans. Let's hang out again sometime. Yeah, sure. Rock. This is a box. Right. Right. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Oh, okay. Ha! I win. Ooh, shadows. Eh? Papyrus! <laughs> Hi! Undyne? I'm here with my daily report! Uh, regarding that human you called- I called you about earlier? Huh? D did I fight them? Yes! Of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? Like, I apologize if my voice is kind of eh the moment I took a break because my voice was killing me. So now I'm back fresh and it's going to take me a bit. <laughs> Apologies. Well, well? No! I tried very hard, Undyne! But in the end, I failed! What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, Undyne, you, you don't uh, have to destroy them! You see? You see? I understand! I'll help you in any way I can! That's not good. Ah! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Good job, small child. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yes, son. When four bridge seeds align in water, they will sprout. He. <laughs> Hooray! Aaron flexes in. Hello, horse naga. I don't know. Flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Okay. Ah! 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 Owie! Ah. Ready for your next flex. Flex again! You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attacks increase for you, too. Nice! I won't lose, though. Ready for your next flex. Flex again. He flexes himself out of the room. I win. Yay. Do I have any items? Oh, thank goodness. I can't read that. Oh. If an arrow. 
air is made, the bell blossom can call the bridge seats back to where they started. Okay. I want to read that sign. This music's so pretty. on the wall. I want to read what that says. Uh... You failed the puzzle. Aww. This is tough. Hmm. Wait a second. so we can stack them from there. It was a hint. I have a nest 
first day! Like, you know, I wonder. I can call Terrell! Nobody picked up. Aw. How about Papyrus? Ring, ring. Hmm, this puzzle! I got it! I tried to build a bridge with the bread seeds! Oh, you call them for help with puzzles! Oh, that's cool. Echo flowers, wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have here are sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, that's right, because they can't see the stars anymore. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh, oh no! Oh, hello! Uh, clean? I'm supposed to clean you. He hops around excitedly. Green means clean, tweet. Woo! Ow! Oh! He's friends with a little bird. Back. Yay! Hmm. I should probably eat another, um... Yeah. Come on, sis! Make a wish! I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Ah, uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look through the telescope? Yes. Oh. I wonder if I can look around. <gasps> I can! Check wall up. Hello? Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Ooh, backstory! Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just, the, just to equal this power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. It pa its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. I want to see it. Ah, here I go! Oh boy. Is Undyne- Ah! She is near! Hello! Ow. ow! Ow, I forgot how to run. Can I run? I forget. Ah. No! Please! Ow! Owie! No! Please! Spooky. Kid! Yo! Did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Touch <laughs> I was right. Touched me! I was never i I'm never washing my face again. Man, are you unlucky? If you're standing just a little to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Go, kid, go. This cheese has been here for so long, the ma a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. 
Squeak. He. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, those who determination. Oh boy. Here we go. Sons! Hi! I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 500 genes for this. to use this premium telescope. But since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, sure. Um. Sons, why? Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Ah! You! 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 Ugh. Yeah. X. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? It's pretty here. What's this way? Hey! The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Dehe. I'm relocated to my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought about a solution! Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice, ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Super. Here you go. Cool. I probably need one more. Yeah. Nice. I should probably save first, and then I'll go ahead. Yeah. Alrighty, let's be on our way. You hear a passing conversation, so? Don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human! Papyrus would never betray you! You said you were not wearing a girl's bandage! So of course, I actually told her! You were indeed wearing a girl's bandage! It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie! But since you aren't wearing a girl's bandage, she surely won't attack you! Now you are safe and sound! Wowie, th this is hard! I just want to be everyone's friend! Click. Oh, Papyrus. Oh! Hello! Yeah, they're easy. This song's so pretty! Don't say that! Come on! I promise I won't laugh. Oh! Goodbye! The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Um... Um... Hi? Hi. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you hear? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? I l you love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. 
even though the water's getting so shallow here. I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey! 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 That's okay! It beats moving to the city! And living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though! You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything! You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean! You hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! <laughs> Thank you, Onion-san. Ah! Oh, hey. Smile. You smile. You ask to see Sharon smile, too. Ten shits quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Mm -hmm. Oh, you like to hum? Hum! Hum a funky tune, so it follows your melody. Three, three, me, me, sir. <laughs> The northern room hides a great treasure. Do okay. A haunting song echoes the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. So I have to... Hmm. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it will never will. Okay. It's a statue. The structures at his, fr at his feet seem st the driest. Please take one. What is it? Take an umbrella? Yes. He took an umbrella. Alright. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Do do do. Man, Undyne is so cool! She beats up bad guys and never loses! If I was a human, I'd wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. That's cool, dude. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, and follow, do, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo! How cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She would beat up all the teachers. That's cool, kid. I guess. Hmm. Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Ooh! The castle! Where are you going?
turn umbrella? Yeah. Turn the umbrella. Yo! This ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Thank you. Yo! You go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. He's cute. Phew. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. Ununited, the humans are too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Hmm. Though considering where I am right now, I think I'm going to stop it here. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top fills you with determination. Yeah. I'll get through this. Later. So, we're going to see Undyne next time. Woo! Woo! Okay, so, have a good day, everybody! Bye!